Alright, um, so my MacBook stopped making weird whizzing sounds, so hopefully this video will actually sound okay. Um, so I've gotten a lot of responses on my video where I put the visor on the CPX, and um, yeah, awesome. Okay, but obviously I did this when I was in like ninth grade or something, and CPX was the coolest helmet ever, and everyone had one. Now everyone has Pro 7s, and I'm getting a lot of, I don't know how to put in my Pro 7, and honestly I don't either, so I'm just going to try and figure it out for you guys right now. So you guys can put um, visors in your Pro 7. So got my Pro 7 here. It's all about the U. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and try and put the visor in here, and I'm just gonna walk you guys through it. So if you guys want to do it for summer league, which is the best time to do it, I go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna get to work. All right. So um, finally figured this out. Um, I'm gonna say it's a lot harder than putting the visor in a CPX, but it's not impossible. Everything you do, you're just going to have to do with a little more effort. So first thing, uh, you want to grab your helmet, of course, and you want to get your visor. And like I said in the first video, but I'll go over it again. You have your visor. There's going to be these little rubber things in here that are going to go through the visor, the whole facing outward. And then you're also going to have two sets of these. I only have one, but this is the set you're going to want to use. This is the small bracket. There's going to be a bigger one. You don't even need that to get rid of it. And of course, you got your two screws. Um, so first thing you want to do, flip your bucket upside down, pull back the chin strap so it doesn't get in the way. And you're going to take this upside down, the Oakley O's down with your helmet. You're just going to pinch it so it will actually get in through the bottom of the helmet. Um, it's not going to crack your visor or anything, but just be careful because if you, if you hit your chin, you're going to scratch the visor. And I've already done that a couple of times trying to show this to people so many times. So um, let's go get the quick angle on this. So you just take this. Your chin strap, chin strap out of the way, and you pinch it in. And once you got it in, just push it all the way up. All right. Now, once you actually have it past the ch um, the chin of the helmet, you just want to shove it up. And these little O's, you're not really going to see them on this as much as you would on the CPX, but they're going to go right above this area where you have like your the Pro 7 fitted thing that keeps everything tight and snug on your head. The O's are going to go right over it. It's kind of hard to see here. I'm going to try and get the angle for it. But you want it just over that white part, and that's what's going to keep it from just sitting on your face. So you do that on both sides. And then you make sure the tab that I'm talking about here, you see the center middle tab? I'm trying to get the angle on this too. Yeah, right here. You want to push that all the way up to the little bracket that holds this little green piece over here. Hopefully this isn't getting too confusing now. Just push it up all the way. So now you're ready to actually attach it to your helmet. So all you have to do is you get your brackets, and you want the bracket that faces like forward, like it kind of has a forward slant to it. It's gonna go on your right side, and you want to put it on um, this the very bottom bar. So you see how you have your three bars on your helmet. You have first, second, third. You want it on the very bottom going up. So I'm gonna go snap that one in real quick. And like I said, these take a little more effort than doing it on the CPX. I don't know why, but you also want to do it on the other side of the helmet. So we get the left side. All right, so now that we got them both in. What you want to do is you want to line up the hole that I showed you before on the visor with the actual hole in the bracket and just get the screw in there. Now you just want to do one screw at a time. So we get the right one in and then get the left one in and then tighten them up separately. So we're gonna do the right one first. Just get it in. Oh yeah, get it in all the way. Then we got the left. And for the left one, you might have to pull the visor forward a little so it lines up properly. So I'm gonna pull it up. And normally it's the, the second one that you do that's trickier. You just actually have to get the screw in and then it'll fit perfect. All right, so I got the second screw in. So uh, there, there we go. You can see the screw right there, over yonder, and on the other side. Now we just tighten them up. So screw, 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 screw. Do 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 do. Now we get the other side. Now, obviously, uh, I'm sure the way this fits is going to depend on the size 
where you set your helmet, because you know how you have the little, little, whatever these adjustable jingers are. And mine are all the way kind of towards the front. Probably should be towards the back because I have a small dome, so I, that might affect you. I don't know. I can only tell you from my experience that it doesn't really get in the way for me. And you know, I have a pretty big nose, so if it hits my nose, then like you must be like Serrano de Bergerac or some stuff with a big nose, but put it on, looks pretty legit, lost out the sun, and you know, you're, you're ready for summer league. No one's going to look more badass than you with this thing on, so I mean, enjoy guys. Hopefully this video helps you out. So uh, one last thing, I'm just going to try and sum up all the junk I think from the comments I got from the last video. Uh, first thing, the visor, you get it like Sports Authority, um, they should have it by the sunglasses in that area. Um, who else would have it? I don't know. Dicks. Favorite. Um, otherwise, just go online. You go to the Oakley website. You can go, you know, any online sports retailer. They should have the visor. They come in a couple of colors. Mine's called Amber. It's um, kind of like an orangey, dark thing. They also have a blue one that looks really cool. And I think they have some awesome reflective ones out there now that you might want to take a look at. What other questions did I get? Uh, I don't even want to click over really, it's just, it's a lot of effort to open up the, the YouTube video and be like, oh, you know, sup, the visor's like 50 bucks, um, I don't know how that shaft got in there, anyway, um, you know, actually I will look, I guess, so much effort, things I do for you guys, oh, his hair looks so stupid, I yeah, know my hair looks stupid, I cut my hair, I look retarded all the time now. Can't do anything about it. Have to wear a hat. Gotta wear a bro hat. Oh, I'm bro lacrosse hat somewhere. See? BL. Bros lacrosse. Bros. How we roll. I'm just gonna wear this for the rest of the video. Um. Why can't I find it? Like, I had like a whole thousand views. I felt really good. I was like, oh, a thousand people care about what I have to say. I'm like, awesome, you know? A thousand people. That's a lot of people. They all want their visor in their helmet. I mean, you know, if you guys want the visor, I'm going to give it to you. I'm not going to be like, nah, no visor for you, bros. Nah, okay. Finally found it. Sublex, bros. Okay, here we go, here we go. Is, is the Oakley the only visor that works? No, you don't have to have an Oakley visor. You can have an Under Armour visor. Completely legit. They're pretty much the same thing. Have the same brackets. Should be fine. Um, I know there's a bangers with a Z helmet thing that they make, but as far as I know, that one doesn't fit, and the only time they made it was like for some ugly gate bucket that no one wears. So, yeah. Hopefully that helps you out. Should fit in the helmet fine. You don't need to cut out any center tab. Ever said that, don't know what they're talking about. So, enjoy, guys.